Mtech in Los Angeles makes a wide variety of door hardware. Unlike many of the company's competitors, Mtech is a highly specialized manufacturer with a typical production run of only 40 to 60 items with frequent changeovers. Typically, not a production that lends itself well to automation. I first heard about Universal Robots from our corporate headquarters who suggested that if we were going to use a robot, that Universal Robots was a good one to choose. It did not need to be fenced off and it was safe ergonomically for the operator to work there. The advantages of the collaborative robot, so that the operator works very closely with them, it means that we do not have to have a fully automatic system. The operator can interact with the robot, placing their arms and parts in place with the robot. The benefits are that it has doubled production. The reason the UR robot works so well is because of the collaborative nature, where another robot cannot work that close to an operator. In our case, the robot dispenses the glue into the pocket of the stem. Our operator then follows up behind that, placing a, a mirrored disc into the pocket. Then the glue robot goes back to dispensing glue on top of the disc, and the operator then follows by putting the glass knob in position on the top. The ROI on this has been right at 12 months, just shy of 12 months. And so what we've actually done is reduce the overtime and when the extra person gets moved to another department. So we really do not reduce staff. Before the universal robot was implemented, the operator was using a handheld device to dispense uh, the, the proper amount of glue to the stem. This step was very tricky, very difficult for the operator. The universal robot dispensing the proper amount of glue, it just standardized the whole process, which was key for the, for the effectiveness of, of this event. Since we are a high mix, low volume manufacturer, production of glass knobs needs to have a quick changeover. In many cases, we use the same pallet, but we just change the program, just pull up another program, and instead of using knob A, we would then turn to knob B, and maybe two hours later, we'll shift again to knob C. Prior to the UR, we had not worked with any robots. I was very surprised at the ease of the programming and how well and how simple the uh, process of programming was. It did not require all the heavy duty programming we have with our CNCs. We do have another project in the works and it will require three UR robots, one UR5 and two UR3s, and this will be a more automated system gluing cabinet knobs, which are smaller and require more precision.